there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12, playing here on the Direwolf 20 pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I am doing great. And originally, I was going to be recording a little rant video, or at least a little rant clip here at the start, but I am doing so much better now. Let's turn around. I'm going to show you some of the progress, okay? And I realized I just did that intro without taking off my armor. I'm sorry about that. But here we go. So, you know, a couple, couple episodes ago, when did I run that? I'm not sure when. Anyway, so we did the bees, right? And I made that diamond bee and I made a bunch of other stuff. And I put them here in this, these industrial apiaries. And all I was getting was rocky combs. And I could not figure it out. Are we still processing? No, we're done processing. I could not figure it out. To, to the extent that I went through and made a new set of bees. And including... Uh, one here let's let's just grab this up diamond uh diamondy all right so the diamond b was not working for me and and i i did that one you know we went through that whole process okay no problem there and so because the diamond queen was not producing for me i went through and did this diamondy b and that was its whole own uh yeah anyway so we uh, yeah, I've been through I've been through the ringer and uh, and then I made that diamondy bee and it was working fine over in my breeding setup, but not here. And and I'll show you why in uh, I'll I'll just I'll just show you why it confused me. Okay, so let me show you my production template. We've got uh, that one, no no production template I bet is in here. Okay, so here's the production template. We got twelve of thirteen chromosomes. Uh, I went through and I found the fast speed, so I managed to pull that, and then I also pulled the lifespan longer. I can't remember from where, but we've got all we've got twelve, everything except the species, and we apply the species by itself. So here we go. Not too shabby of a set of traits. Never sleeps, flowering slowest, speed fast, humidity tolerance, and temperature tolerance. Those are the ones that uh, I'm I'm sort of confused about. It's got I've got both too. Okay, so. I can be producing stuff from these bees here in the swamp, even if it's a plains, supposedly, but apparently not. So, um, so yeah, I, I chatted with Java Dad and just, we were, we were trying to figure this out, why I was getting only rocky combs out of this. And then uh, he just suggested to use a plains upgrade. And, and so I've done that. I've put plains emulation upgrades in all of these and let me show you. This is, uh, we're, we're going to see. Okay, not too shabby. I'm starting to get some decent stuff out of these bees, including now a lapis comb. Let's let's run this through our, oh, we're still, we're still running through a backlog. We've got to get, we got to get that fixed up here soon. But what I want to do is just grab that and we'll throw these in here. The standard honeycombs. We will always have with us but let's let this thing run through and see if it produces anything for us we should get some lapis out of it and we should see it pulling in oh honey drops are backing up a bit we'll see yes we get lapis excellent so we're starting to get that and then let's see the other things here by switching to those di the diamondi b and the esmeraldi b we have, uh, we've started going with, instead of having to centrifuge all this stuff, we can just get the items directly. So, sure enough, planes emulation upgrade for the win. And the biggie here is my bronze bee. Yes, instead of going with the, uh, what was it, tarnished, I believe, gave me 10 and having to centrifuge that out. Where I've got one back here. And, and yeah, so we've got, a bronzed queen we got four production upgrades and as we get more bronze and and other stuff we we will be seeing a lot better better rates so uh right now we're still not touching our standard power gen but but uh we've got a lot of upgrades in those apiaries let's see we're at 84 bronze right now okay we've chucked everything in there 197 so we are doing well on bronze and that shouldn't be an issue any longer as long as we just keep cleaning this out every now and then. Okay, keep that clean. And 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 here we go. So uh, another neat thing, we got the signal and plated impulse item ducts. So it's 
It's carrying the RF out of our RF tools storage, and it's also carrying um, items out of the apiaries. So we've thrown that in there, okay. And then we have we got diamonds, diamond nuggets coming in. So I have switched out the Diamond Queen, the one we spent so much time for, for the Diamante. We've got two Diamante Queens going. But so we're at, what, 129 diamonds. Let's chuck all that stuff in there. 148. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Now, that's not the point of today's episode, and we've already spent five and a half minutes going over that. Today, we... Okay, you see this? This is our storage right here. And you see all the hassle that I go through sometimes, just do do do, got to go in the crafting window and and set up my recipes and all that. And, and we may still continue doing that, but we need to get into something a little more powerful. And that is Applied Energistics 2. That's what we're going to work on today. So uh, a few things of note, that's why we did the stonework factory so we could get some silicon because we're going to need that for one of the, the items. So uh, let's see. How do we start here? Okay, so we're gonna need a, a few things. Let's let's just pull this up. We need uh, at applied. Okay, we're going to need some quartz glass. So we've got some there, and then what we're gonna need is the uh, energy acceptor, right? So you attach an energy acceptor to your standard RF, and that supplies energy to the whole network. Okay, so uh, right here, you see that we've got something sitting in the middle here, this Fluix crystal. What's that all about? Well, that's something that we need to do a little bit of work on. So we've got a little bit more glass there. We've got some sky stone we're going to have to work on, and then we'll just grab all of this stuff. Certus quartz dust, charged certus quartz crystal. We're going to need that and then regular Certus Quartz Crystal, Nether Quartz, and Redstone. All right, so the we've got to get some Fluix in here before we do anything further. We need that Energy Acceptor, okay? So how do you make Fluix Crystal? Well, you need to find some water, and lucky for us, we've got some water right here, and then you throw in some Redstone, some Nether Quartz, and charge Certus Quartz Crystal, and that should, should, there we go, and there we go. All right. So you put all of that stuff together and you get uh, essentially double the charged Certus Quartz out of that. So it's it's 48 items total um, or three items total and you get two Fluix Crystals. But, uh, but there we go. So we need one of those right here and we've now got an Energy Acceptor. And then over here, we're going to need a Charger because... You only get so much of that charged Certus Quartz Crystal, and we're going to need a lot of it. Okay, so so here we go. The charger takes energy and puts it into these Certus Quartz Crystals, and so that's going to be very, very useful. And then we're also going to need something called an Inscriber, and we're actually going to need five of them. I wish we had something called uh, AE2 Stuff in this mod, uh, or in this pack, but... Uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. So here's the other thing. We're going to need some quartz fiber. We need that for cables. And then over here, we're going to need... Oh, what was it? Um, let, let's see. One of the, the big things... We do need a controller. Do, can we make the controller yet? Not quite. Pure Fluix Crystal. Yeah, so we're not quite there on the controller. We have to do a little bit of of prep before that so over here i bet this is going to be the crystal growth accelerators we're going to need that oh boy can we do this we can't do this yet we can however do this and we should be able to make one of those blocks there we go okay and we can make one. Oh no well, this is going to be a little bit more expensive than I had originally figured. Let's see if we can make some more of this. And any more? Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be really expensive. Okay, so we've got at least four accelerators. That's not too shabby. Let's sleep. And the reason I sleep is not because I'm afraid of mobs right now. It's because I don't like the rain. Since the rain does not actually 
respond to the particles. I don't know what that's about. It's it, it doesn't respond over here in video settings particles. It used to be you could turn that all the way down and get rid of rain. You can't do it anymore. And, and then the sound is horrendous, okay? So if you wonder why I sleep like that, it's to get rid of the rain. Now we're gonna need this thing and then maybe what we'll do is grab some of our flux ducts here oh we can't do we can't do flux ducts and um, again right now we're just throwing stuff willy-nilly and we will bring order to it eventually yes we will trust me okay you may not you may not be trusting me but trust me we are going to bring order to our mess here pretty soon okay so first order of business we need to get that charger working so uh, does this thing can you let's let's set this to out and put that on there and you can you can okay that's good all right so you just put one of these these certus quartz crystals in here and then eventually it goes to a charge certus quartz crystal all right like so and then i think we should be able to chuck that into the water like that and then one of those let's just throw all those together and we'll get two of the fluix things and now we should be able to finish up our this yes okay yes crystal growth accelerator this is a good thing we need um, we need four of our five of those so that we can start growing these um these these crystals here and you'll see what i mean by that so let's just start digging out a spot. And you may be wondering, why in the world are you doing this? Well, we do need more planes emulation upgrades. And so why not get all of the grass? And the planes emulation upgrades require grass. So we'll do that. Okay. And then right here, let's just dig all this out. And there we go. And all right. So that should be good right there. And what we do is take that and then all the way around like so. Is that gonna work? It may not work. You may have to put these. I don't I don't know if the orientation matters on here. Let's try. Uh did I okay, I've got some cobblestone there and I've got some dirt. All right. So let's let's just do this and see if the orientation of this thing matters. Okay, so you saw on the controller. Let's let's bring that back up. Controller. Right, like so. We need one of these controllers so that we can control the network. It's got channels and we'll we'll get into all of that later, but we need this pure fluix crystal and you grow pure pure fluix crystals and it's kind of annoying. That's one of the reasons why I prefer our, our refined storage. But uh what are you going to do? So we, we're going to be doing AE2 because we haven't done AE2 in a while. I have to make sure to check light levels after this. Okay. And then we'll just grab shovel. And we need to get power down to these guys. And then what we'll do is take... Uh, do I have room? Yes, I have room. All right. I don't have a bucket. Why don't I have a bucket? Do I have one up here? Yes. Okay. And we need some water like that and we'll put that right there like so and we'll take our energy acceptor we'll put that right there and then we'll need some more um you know what let's let's see about um putting a hopper on there and just putting some certus quartz crystal in like so and then that way it can just load. Yep. You see that, and it only takes in one at a time. Yeah. Ugh. I know, I know people really love this mod. I just, it, it's annoying. It's annoying to me. So, uh, to each his own. We'll do that. And make some more fluix because we need some fluix for our... Uh, cables so let's do that not cable anchor we will need uh, this one 
Yes. Okay. And I can do that here in my window. All right. So we should have some energy coming out to this. Okay. And does that work? Yeah. But how about down here? Will it not? Hmm. So, oh, you have to, oh boy. Yeah, anyway, this, yeah, people just love this mod. And I, I honestly, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm using it also to, to hopefully get a better appreciation. Did that destroy that? I'm not sure if it did. There we go. Okay. So now we've got five crystal growth accelerators and we may be able to do a sixth one if we can get phantom faces working correctly. And I don't know if that's going to be a thing, but we need to do some pure fluix right here. So we need a fluix seed and you make a fluix seed by putting fluix dust with white sand. And so we probably need to get this. We're going to need four of these things. Did I get it's all charged charged? We got three there. Okay. And let's go make our Fluix crystals here. And eventually we need to get to making a Certus B so that some of this is taken care of for us. So we've got eight Fluix right there. And what we'll do is we'll take four of those, put them in the pulverizer. And we've got some sand. And then you'll see what we got to do. We got to make that seed and then we throw that seed in some water. And uh, I think we should be able to just do this right here in our crafting window. And, and I'll show you this. Um, okay. So normally you just drop it in a puddle of water and, and it will happen to grow into a pure fluix crystal eventually. Okay. Let, you can just see how slow this process is. You see it um, going a little bit. It, it's got some particle effects on it. You see those right there? Right now we've got 0.0% .0 on these. Let's see how much this one is. It went right back in there. And, and that's one of the reasons why you want these crystal growth accelerators. You just chuck them all into here. And you'll see how quickly they should get up to up to the the fastest growth all right let's just check them right now and so you can see they're at 12 percent. okay so this is quite quite a process we're going to let these things grow i'll bring it back once they are the standard pure fluix crystals all right it looks like these things are done so let's grab those on up and take a look yep pure fluix crystal and we'll come over here and see if we can make our controller. And I don't know that we can. I think we have to do one more thing. We need Skystone block. Oh, and the engineering processor. Okay. So, um, how do we make Skystone block? Well, you smelt this stuff. And I think this one, that's our trivection chamber. Let's go back into the house over here. And we'll throw this into the furnace like so oh we've run out of space hmm okay uh we just need four let's do what one two three four right is that how this goes skystone block yep smelt it okay we'll do that and we won't be able to grab that but we'll we'll get our skystone block here and then come back over here. Oh, and it's nighttime again. That means that we are taking our sweet time getting all this done. All right. So, well, we, we won't be able to do the controller quite yet. Let's get these inscribers going so you can see this process. And we'll go like this. Do we have? Yes, we have RF. So, uh, it should. Oh, it doesn't carry through. I thought it carried through. I guess not. And it doesn't have to be attached to one of those energy acceptors. So we should be able to just do this. Okay. 
yeah they all have they all have rf on them good and uh and and so what we can do is get those presses that we went on that journey for after sleeping of course um so we'll get each of those and then what we'll have to do is make the various uh, various processors so let's come over here uh not that one this one calculation press we need one of those we need engineering press then the silicon press and nope that's paper large plate we had just the one logic okay and then we can throw this flower in here we don't need it and we can throw that torch and how's our light levels doing okay not the greatest so let's take care of that and that and that don't want any surprises all right so um over here let's go uh put a torch right there and then get rid of f4 all right and then we can put each of our presses in here like so i believe that's how that goes and we'll find out soon enough and what i want to do is make at least the diamond one so let's grab some silicon and a diamond wait a minute wait a minute we need engineering press so printed oh it's okay the press is on the top diamond is there and silicon where'd you go right there and then we'll need some redstone all right so we come over to this one that's our calculation press and we need the engineering one so we'll do that put the diamond in like so and it takes its time that's fine silicon press we'll put uh, silicon right there and that's going you can see that there and the logic press all right and then what we do we'll put the redstone right there and we should see is it done it's done right there okay and then right there we'll get our printed silicon and we take this and this and it should press it down together we can speed that up with speed upgrades later and don't worry we'll get into that but let me just show you that process uh upgrade no card that's what it's called advanced card basic card acceleration card so you need an advanced card with well we'll go with the regular flux crystal because the pure flux crystal takes takes a sweet time and then over here we need a calculation processor and some iron we're not going to do that right now right now our goal is just to get a basic system up and running and so we can do that now all right we'll make our controller like so excellent and if we put this right right wait a minute right here okay so now we have a controller and uh it's not it's not the most useful right now we need we need some drives and we need some uh we need a terminal so let's take a look at that crafting terminal that's really the ideal one there and we've got all sorts of fun stuff here logic processor so uh you you take the logic press and do you do it with gold right there um and and you've seen it with the engineering press but we've got to do that with gold i'm not going to do that on camera right now i'm going to take the care of that off camera i'll bring you back once i've got all those pieces together well i figured it's time to bring you back in for a little bit of an update so here we go this is the thing i don't like about these inscribers they are position dependent upon where items go in it's kind of like the furnace it's one of the reasons that you have to come up with these weird contraptions just to get a furnace to work but uh, items that you want to go in this in this middle slot right here and you probably can't see because i'm not capturing the mouse um but the middle slot so not not where the calculation press is right here where the ingot is showing up those items can only come if you are pointing into the inscriber from the side okay and then you'll see another one over here which we've got a, a hopper pointing in from the top and then we've got some items coming in from the bottom and then we've got a little flat transfer face right here on the side 
and and that's showcasing all of the possible inputs and outputs so the the item you want to press is there on the top uh, one of the other items here like redstone in this case comes from the side the printed silicon comes from the bottom and then the output goes into this chest right here and we need all of those and do what yes we have enough space excellent excellent all right so uh, let's let's see if we can do this quickly we do need a storage bus and that means we're going to need an ME interface and let's do this we need a couple of these we don't have any fluix dust how do I not okay I guess I guess I don't and let's maybe put uh, put our let's put our dirt and cobblestone away that should be fine and we may not need our hoppers but but we'll see so let's come over here and we've got fluix dust now yes okay come over like so go back here emmy interface we need what is it charged oh charged oh we don't have aha i know i was i was growing some of these pure pure certus court crystals okay so we should be good now let's just do this real quick okay we need two of those and i'm out of space so maybe let's put um let's let's put these chests down like so and then maybe we can throw some of our other items in here we've got inventory clog like you wouldn't believe we don't need the sky stone we may need the rest of this maybe not that and quartz fiber we might need the quartz fiber and we don't need the crescent hammer okay i think we're good i think we're good all right over here we need an annihilation core we can do that and so now we should be able to get the interface yes okay and then we should be able to get our storage bus good and then what we can do is put that right there and now we can go into our crafting terminal and let's see if we can build this thing up we should be able to grab the panel yes and can we do this no not quite this one yes we've got the me terminal and then we can do the crafting terminal and then we'll take some of our glass cables like so excellent and we can put our crafting terminal like that and we can access everything in those storage drawers and that is amazing okay so we can clear out all of our inventory right like that and that means what we can do is maybe even, is it going to let us access diamond nuggets? Yes, it will. And then I bet, I bet if we go grab whatever we've got in here, we've got what 17 diamond nuggets. Okay. Let's do that. Bronze nuggets right there. And let's just make sure the math adds up correct or correctly. Rather, it's an adverb. It's describing adds up. Okay, we've got 12, 1,242 diamond nuggets. And if we put our diamond nuggets into here, we added 17. We should see that this went up to 1,257, 1,259. Yeah, 1,259. Okay, good, 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 good. Excellent. And then over here, let's just try it from the other direction. Let's look up uh, bronze at 1,782 and well let's put this in here 1846 and then we've got 13 okay let's do 13 in there 1859 it should show over here 1859 excellent that means that we can now access everything from here and i don't have to go back and forth now like we can't put anything else in there that because we don't have storage we're going to work on that off camera let me just show you some of what we have to go through for that we will need a drive. So this right here, can we make that? No, we, we may, may be able to make that. Not quite, but we can grab some iron because that's what we're missing, right? Let's come over here. Let's make the drive. Drive like this. Okay, good. And we can put that right there. Of course, we don't have any storage components, but we can say applied and then storage just kind of showing you the process here we need one of these 
storage cells. Maybe that one. Uh, can we do that? Oh, we don't have storage. 1K. How about 1, 1K? Yeah. 1K storage cell. And we need that right there. Can we make that? Hmm. Can we do that here? 1K? Will, will it do it? Storage component? Oh, it's... Hmm. Something, something is off here. Okay, I see. Oh, yeah, because we don't have any storage, I can't remove remove things from the crafting window. So let's do this right quick. Okay, we've got that. And then we should be able to do the 1K storage drive like this. Boom. Okay. So that means we can do this and we can throw quartz glass in there oh boy oh boy it is on like donkey kong excellent so we now have basic a basic me system okay material energy i think that's what it's what it stands for we've got a basic me system going real basic 1k storage it's not where we want to be long term but hey we can do crafting here in one spot we don't have to go uh, go to each of the individual little storage drawers. And uh, this is part of, remember I said we're going to be consolidating here? Yes, this is part of that consolidation. I do need to make some more drives. I'm probably going to go up to the 16K just to show you this real quick. Yeah, ME storage. So we need one of those 16K storage components. I'm probably going to fill that whole thing out with 16K. Um, yeah, so you need three 4Ks, and each of those 4Ks needs three 1Ks, and you've already seen the process. So you can see it does take a little bit of effort to get all of that, but we're going to fill this up with uh, 10, 10 16K storage components. And right now, we've got what, one, two, so two channels used up on this side, and then we've got one channel used up over here. You can get 32 channels off of each face, and then you can grow this controller as well, so just in case you need more space. But uh, we're not going to get into advanced ME stuff right now. This is perfectly fine. So let's take the sneaky screenshot. And maybe from over here? Or maybe like this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel. Remember, Discord is a Discord link is down in the description box below. Feel free to hit that so you can come chat and uh, and just, you know, see what's up and see what the process is for some of these videos. Or if you've got suggestions, you want to get to me directly, go hit that Discord link. And then also Patreon is available as well if you want to show some support for the channel and for the family-friendly content coming out of it. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.